All right, Alex, thank you. And when it comes to ICE rescues, emergency crews will tell you that every minute counts. Fox 11's Eric Peterson talked to rescuers and doctors. He joins us now. And, Eric, what do the experts say about your chances of survival under that frigid, frigid water? Well, good evening, Michelle. Despite the outcome, the Oshkosh Fire Department says yesterday's rescue call and recovery went about as well as could be expected. Rescuers had good directions, and witnesses pointed them to the way right, right to the hole in the ice. But even then, it was nearly an hour before divers could safely hit the water. The rescue call and recovery of a father and son from Lake Winnebago Sunday weighs heavy on the minds of firefighters at the Oshkosh Fire Department. It's a very tough day yesterday and, and, and today, um, especially being that a child was lost. John Holland says dive crews made it to the scene in 40 minutes. Ten minutes later, divers were in the water. It was the first actual call for Tony Montag. The vis visibility was, was quite good. Uh, you could see that it was upside down on its roof or hood, really. Montag says the windows on the Jeep Grand Cherokee were up. Divers had to open the back hatch to recover 8-year-old Derek Doro and then his 40-year-old father, Andrew Doro. Fire officials say the two were out of the water in less than 60 minutes. They talk about the golden hour. You want them you know, up, which we were able to do it inside the hour, but just right about at the hour. You know, every minute faster you can do it is better. Crews tried to resuscitate the two on the way to area hospitals. At Theta Clark Medical Center in Nina, emergency room doctors say when someone is underwater, every minute counts. It can be as quick as 15 minutes before you're unconscious to the point where literally the, the risk or the chance of survival is, um, is quite, quite slim. Dr. Paul Disher says people may panic. They react more than they, they probably think about what is the best scenario or best option to get out of that uh, particular circumstance. Rescuers say people driving across Lake Winnebago need to make a safety plan before heading out on the ice because if you do go through, they say it may be too late. We knew they were within that window, so there was always that hope, but again, unfortunately, it didn't happen yesterday. Now the Oshkosh Fire Department says they have about five to ten calls for vehicles stuck in the ice each year. The department says the rescue boats they operate through Winnebago County, they make a big difference. Authorities in Winnebago, Calumet, and Fond du Lac counties um, use those boats. Uh, Winnebago County has airboats at three locations, while Calumet County's Sheriff's Department also has equipment at three separate places. The Fond du Lac Fire Department has a boat that can be used for rescues close to shore, while the Sheriff's Department has an airboat at its disposal.